He does everything. Missed a lot of the early season with a bad hammy, but he's back now. Stanford on the boards here. Michael McDonald, Jaron Collins for the finish. Stanford down 37-35. Arizona, meanwhile, on fire. Jason Gardner for three. That's good. Lauren Woods with a big game. With a nice move here for the leaner. He had 16 points, 12 boards, and four blocks. Not typical Madsen. He went just one of seven from the floor, finished with just two points. This shot here is a dicey situation. Moore Gardner with a sweet move here and the floater. He had 22 points, 51-41 Arizona. Wildcats think it's over, but hold on. 14 seconds left. David Mosley for Stanford for three. Yes, can. Stanford down by four. Now five seconds to go. Mosley with another bomb. Stanford down one. Last chance for Stanford. They're now down three. Mosley for the tie in overtime. No. The 600th career win for Luke Olsen as Arizona wins it 68-65. Stanford losing for the first time all season. The Wildcats lost Richard Jefferson with a stress fracture. His condition will be reevaluated when the Wildcats get home. Arizona winning for the 20th time in 24 meetings against the Cardinal. None more special than this one for its coach. I'm not into counting uh, things, but uh, the 500th is an easy one to remember because uh, Miles Simon threw in a 65-footer against Cincinnati. And uh, this one against a great team in a, in a tough situation, number one uh, in the country is, uh, is certainly not one that I'll forget regardless of how many senior moments I may have. So number one, Stanford goes down. How about number two, UConn at Pitt? Kyle Elamine remembers what happened December 12th, 1998 at Fitzgerald Fieldhouse. Won the game, taunted the fans. There were issues there. Back to the present, second play of the game. Elamine for three. UConn up by six at the half. Second half, more the same. Elamine had 16 points, and UConn wins easily, 73-51. Albert Boring, 22-20 in the second half. UConn bouncing back after losing to Notre Dame on Wednesday. And UConn sets a Big East record with a 12 consecutive conference at the activity. Jason Hart, the alley-oop. Damone Brown, who had 14. Syracuse up 16. But the Canes coming back. Elton Tyler from the wing. Miami down five. Bench loves it. Under a minute left. Miami with a chance to cut the lead to three. Mario Bland is blocked. Orange go the other way. Damone Brown. Instead, he goes cross court to Tony Bland. Bland, a lay in and the foul, and the Cuse wins at 67 55. Syracuse wins it 67 55. As Eaton Thomas scored 12 points, grabbed 11 boards, the fans in Miami yelled, Hey, Thomas, come back and play for the Heat. Says Thomas, I guess I got their respect. Four Syracuse starters scored double figure, Syracuse 11 0. Marquette, Cincinnati, Kenyon Martin, big game. Bearcats up six early. Second half, Marquette hanging around. John Cliff. He's about 30 more pounds, which you'll get in time. Kiss the Looks like it fell off a cliff. And good. Cliff had 17. There's Cliff. Bearcats ice it. Martin inside. As he had 19 points and 10 rebounds here. As the Bearcats win at 67 to 48. Pete Michael 23. Bearcats now 14 and 1, 3 and 0 in Conference USA. Bearcats should move up in the rankings because Stanford lost and number two UConn lost earlier this week. State. Jeffrey Newton, the freshman, had five block shots. Indiana with 13 blocks in the game. That's a school record. Second half. Hoosiers up 53-46. Joe Crispin, coast to coast, and the harm, and it counts. Crispin, 24 points. Later in the second half, Michael Lewis, Kirk Haston, who had a career-high 28 points to go with 13 boards, and Indiana wins at 85-78. The Hoosiers have beaten Penn State six straight times. Wisconsin beats Illinois by the... College, Texas Tech at number 12, Oklahoma State. From way up top, Mario, Mario Lane with the reverse tech down by six. The Cowboys come back. Joe Atkins fading away with the triple. OK State wins it, 55-47. Texas A&M at number 19, Oklahoma. Kelly Newton, he was the story. Newton for three, you betcha. 19 points and five of six shooting from behind the arc. The Sooners win big. UNC Charlotte at number 23, DePaul. The sophomore sensation, Quentin Richardson, slashing for two to tie it. And then under a minute left, same score, Q. Grabbing the offensive glass, he misses, grabs some more, and puts it home. 32 points and 10 boards 
as DePaul wins 77-75. St. Joe's at number 21, Temple. Temple up two in the second half. Pepe Sanchez, sweet dish to Lamont Barnes. Nine assists for Pepe, 15 points for Barnes, and then Mark Karcher dropping from three. 17 for Karcher, Temple wins 64-51. In other college hoops, number five, Auburn over Georgia. The Tigers have won 11 straight and in 20 North Carolina. Off the miss, Ed Cota. Look at him around the back. Some fancy stuff to Max Owens. The heels up by one. A little later, Cota. And a trip and just handed off to Brendan Haywood. He shops at big and tall stores. Tar Heels on a 10-zip run. And then Cota will cross over and knocking down that J. UNC wins at 83-75. Coda finishes with a career-high 23 points. The Heels have beaten the Wolfpack eight of their last nine times. The Heels shot 71%. They're better than Arizona State and Cal. It's Eddie House in the house. 17 in the first half, and then he warmed up. Second half, here comes Eddie. He loves to shoot the rock, knocking down the jumper there. And then House for three. ASU up by four. Four seconds left, tied. Cal Shante Leggins going to drive. Rob Evanstein would survive. We're going overtime. 12 seconds left in OT. Eddie House for three. Look where Eddie's shooting from. We're going double overtime. In double OT, somebody call the fire department because the house is on fire. After Eddie hit a couple free throws, ASU up three, two seconds left. Joe Ship for three. Not this time. Eddie House scores 61 points. That ties Lou Alcindor's Pac-10 record as Arizona State wins it in double overtime, 111 to 108. House, one of just five Pac-10 players to have three 40-point games. He has all three of them this season. The names have been changed in this rivalry, but not the results. In their last 33 meetings with Duke, the Terps have lost 28 times, including the last five meetings. Duke looking to go 2-0 and in ACC play. First half, all Duke all the time. Jason Williams to Carlos Boozer. Duke by 12, 11 early, 23-12. to 12. Late in the first half, Terps battle back. Danny Miller with his steal. Takes it the distance, cutting the lead to three. Blue Devils up by six in the second half. Stephen Blake to Terrence Morris. And it's a four-point lead for Duke. Still a four-point lead. Chris Carowell changes all of that. It's a seven-point lead. Carowell will change all of that later in the program. Duke up 13. Carowell had 20. Under two minutes to go, Duke by eight. Jason Williams will feed Carlos Boozer. 17 for Boozer. Duke picks up the victory by the final of 80 to 70. Since dropping their first two games of the season, the Blue Devils have won 11. The chore alone. Texas coming right here. Smim with Voskel behind him. Gets up, makes a good play. Jake's a tall lad himself. Husky D, Voskel, another block on Mim. The outlet, Kevin Freeman. A little scary moment here, though. Freeman fouled hard by Mim. Freeman goes down, took a while, but he did get back up. UConn up by seven at the break. Now UConn's up 11. Khalid El Amin, the nice pass to Freeman. He will finish. El Amin likes it. Coach Calhoun telling the bench. The Farmer and the Dell is an underappreciated song. Huskies up big. Albert Mooring. He will launch the three. He hit five out of six threes. Had 21 points. Texas down by five. Mim gets in the lane to make that work. He had 18 and 10 rebounds. Huskies had too much going, though. The pick and the roll. Alamin and Voskel. Uh-huh. Yukon up 63-56. A winner. 77-67. So Alamin goes for 14 points and eight assists. Albert Mooring. First half, Utah's up 20. Jeff Johnson missing the three. He's got his own board. Nate Altas open. He'll make the land plus the foul. He had 14 at the half. Utah big at the half. Now Utah's up 13. Tony Harvey's driving. There's Altas. He finishes the game high 20 points. Later in the second, Utah's up 14. David Abramowitz. The three is good. San Diego State with an 11 now. Utes up 12 here. Alex Jensen way out front. The three is good. Utes up 15. Show them what they've won. College basketball game 70 to 55. Utes have won nine straight. Down four. Kevin Braswell takes the pass and knocks down the long three. As the buzzer sounds, he had 18. St. John's by one at the break. Second half, LeVar Postel with the block. Bootsy Thornton to Eric Barkley. And Barkley, sweet! And a game high, 22 points, six assists as well. Later in the half, St. John's by five. Barkley to 
Donald Emmanuel here. Good highlight percentage for Emmanuel. Hit two field goals and one highlight. Hoyas 25 turnovers. Said Barkley, we didn't really try to force turnovers. We just let them make mistakes. Nice little postgame slap. Patrick Ewing and Looney Karnaseka there to see it. Karnaseka will like this. Four straight wins over Georgetown. First time they've done that in Big East history. BYU and UNLV. Billy Bano of UNLV suspended for missing a conference coaches meeting. That's Glenn Cyprian. That's a tough conference. Trevor Diggs knocks down the three for UNLV. Ties the game. Diggs had 20. Later, Terrell Lede getting that to go. BYU up by four. Lede with 30. UNLV trying to send it into overtime. Delron Johnson knew. Won't go. And BYU wins its first ever Mountain West game. 77-75 to the final.